Welcome to Crater and Crate. Welcome to Crater and Crate. Today, it's the POV unboxing of the Umai, or Umai Crate by Japan Crate. And this is, as you can see, comes in a tower form, rather unconventional, certainly unlike the typical Japan Crate which in this case we've actually turned into a cat box for our new kitten. Anyways, if that's not too disgusting. So, umei, yumei, yumai, well, we'll figure that out at a later date. Let's see. Okay, so first, let's uh, get a Package opener. Ta da! Let's open that up. There we go. And, oops, oh, oh. So we're going to have to do a little better on that. And there, and there. Okay. Now, let's see. Well, let's see what we've got. The Unreal. And, okay. So we have this nice booklet. This is the second Umei Umai Uyu crate. Hmm, sleeping tiger on the back. Very nice. So, um, let's see what we have. Let's start from left. No, let's start from right to left. And we have Gomtang. Gomtang with authentic taste. Uh, what kind of authentic taste? Oriental style noodles with soup base. With soup base. Okay, well, um, that doesn't really tell us much of anything, does it? So let's see. Uh, let's see if the booklet tells us anything. Oops, I don't want to reveal. No, I see recipes and uh, oh, Paldo, Paldo Goom Tang Noodles. Is this going to focus? Apparently it's not. Okay, that's fine. So, Goom Tang Noodles. And uh, the milky white color of the Goom Tang broth comes from simmering oxtail and brisket for hours. Okay, oh, so it's a non-spicy Korean dish that's popular with the Japanese. So, Goom Tang has a clean and creamy flavor filled with Yunami. Hmm. Okay, well, there we go then. So, what's next? Next we have... Oh, I've seen these at my local Asian, Asian cuisine store. And that is... Let's see. The blue, blah, 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 blah. Let's see. Um, let's see. This is... My Hoja. Chukazan my ramen. And the first thing you'll notice about this noodle pack is that the noodles aren't flash fried, along with two soup packages, one being the powdered soup base and the other being oil flavoring. So it gives this ramen a rich flavor with tender noodles that's pretty close to real ramen. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good. Now what? That's pretty. Um... Some kind of giraffe, giraffe-flavored ramen, possibly. I don't know. Let's see what uh, what it tells us over here. It's the Kirin Ramen Shio flavor. Okay, maybe Shio is Japanese for um, giraffe. So, ki Kirin Ramen is popular in Japan for its flavor and retro-style packaging. So this, uh, they have many flavors available, and this month we've selected salt flavor. Okay, I think I would prefer um, giraffe flavor to salt flavor. But, you know, hey, beggars can't really be choosers, right? Ooh, what's this? Okay, so now we have ooh, soybean paste flavor. Uh, Maijo... Chukazanmai, or something like that. And uh, let's see, whoops, wait a minute. Where is that? I don't. 
I don't actually see that here. Okay, that's interesting. Um, hmm. Ah! Okay. So anyways, I read the wrong description. The description I read for this is actually the description I read for that. So the description for this really is the Paldo Tiam Sa Ram Yum warning. Extra hot. Okay, well, I like... Extra hot is good. Uh, it says that uh, uh, Tiam Sa Yi is a restaurant in the shopping district in Seoul that is a known favorite hangout for Japanese tourists, and these are ultra spicy noodles. So, okay. And this, in fact, is the... Dum, 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 dum. These are the noodles that are not flash frozen. Okay, so let's get that. And these are not the giraffe flavored noodles. Those are the salt flavored noodles. Okay, good. Now, what do we have here? Ooh, what's this? That looks good. Um, that looks kind of good. I have no idea what it is. Okay, so these are. Let's make sure I get the right one. This is the Itomen Sansei Soba Cup. Ooh, and this is a cup noodle. A noodle cup, where a cup noodle comes with sansei, which is Japanese mountain vegetables, and soba. Okay, buckwheat noodles. We're certainly familiar with that. And the flavor of this dish is refreshing due to the uh, light noodles, dashi broth, and the veggies. Okay, neat. Oh, and then we have... Super Big Ramen. Ba -ba -ba -boom. Super Big Ramen. Yeah, that's a good one. Super Big Ramen. Okay, and Super Big Ramen. Ace Cook Super Big Ramen. Shayu flavor. Uh, and with this bowl, it says, with this bowl of instant ramen, you get not only the soup packet, but a seasoning packet and additional oil packet. And the flavor comes out richer than most instant cup noodles. For some reason, the door has opened. And we hear someone watching YouTube. So, okay, what else do we have? Ooh, okay, um, we have orchids, shirataki noodles. And uh, these are made from a jelly. These are noodles made from a jelly that comes from yams. It's uh, vegan-friendly and low-calorie, and uh, interesting because it's gluten-free and it is a good source of fiber, or so I'm told. Cool. And there is a bonus item, and it is a ramen wooden spoon. Okay, ramen wooden spoon. And uh, as it says here, ramen chefs and giraffes will tell you the best way to eat ramen is to use a soup spoon and chopsticks. But they didn't provide chopsticks. Okay, I can get chopsticks. All right. And, uh, wow. So, all right. So this is the, this is the second umai, ume, umi box filled with all kinds of ramen -y goodness. Um, you know, we're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, yeah, like seven ramen noodle meals, um, that you can make. Um, that's, it seems pretty reasonable. Um, I have to admit that we have several, uh, Asian stores in our area. And uh, I have not seen any of these flavors there. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I think that all in all, I would, I, would, I would recommend this. I think this is definitely worth checking out. If you're into ramen, uh, especially giraffe-flavored ramen or salted giraffe-flavored ramen. Okay, this has been... Uh, Crate on crate, and the umi crate. Umai, ume, u m a i. However, that ends up being pronounced.